Yep, 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 yep. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to Spicy Talk with Onwadia. You all know I am your love doctor, and here I help you build a healthy relationship and marriage, which is why I am bringing to you a very interesting topic that so many of you out there will relate to it, which is dating a single parent. Are you in love with a single parent out there? Are you interested in a single parent or does a single parent catching your eyes right now and you want to go for him or her? But you don't know what you might end up getting. Listen and stay tuned to this topic as I take you through the things you need to know before you go ahead to date a single parent. This will save you a whole lot of headache. This will help you and it will also guide you properly before you jump in in love with that single parent. The dating game is becoming more and more complicated and dating a single parent can't be any easier, trust me. Because whichever way you look at it, these children must always be in the life of the single parent. Well, children are gift from God, we all know. But that doesn't also remove the fact that these children are going to be in the way between you and the single parent you are going after. It is true that most single parents never really planned to be single parents as everyone and you know, every child deserves to have both parents in their lives. So whatever the reason is, whatever the case may be, whatever may have you know, prompted a man or a woman to become a single parent, sometimes it's no fault of theirs. Some are widowed, some are divorced, others are jilted. Yes, we know those things happen. A guy gets a lady pregnant and then he bolts, while others just simply did not even allow the man to know she is carrying his seed. But whatever it is, these people deserve a second chance. They deserve to be loved. They deserve to date again. They deserve to go out to the world in as much as they deserve this. That also doesn't remove the fact that these children will always be in the picture of the single parent. It doesn't also remove the fact that these children will always be priority to this parent. So before you go out dating a single parent, consider these factors so you don't get bond and so you don't also break hearts. Why some people see single parents as baggage and liabilities? I want to let you know that it's not true. So long as you consider these factors that I'm about to list out now, first is the time factor. Before going to date a single parent, you have to put the time factor into consideration because these single parents will have limited time available. They, you, you cannot just be you know, barge into their lives at, at will because they always have time for these children. Time is never enough because these children are ever wanting attention from school runs to social life to so many other things. They just cannot afford uh, they just cannot afford to, no, I mean, not to be in the lives of these children. Going out, these children tag along, you must consider that. So time factor is something you need to consider. This single parent may not always be there whenever you need him or her. And it's no fault of theirs. It's really no fault of theirs. So before you go out toasting her or him or falling in love with him, consider that they may not always be there when you make that call to say, I want to see you. Unlike a single uh, single lady or a single guy who doesn't have any responsibility. These single parents have a huge responsibility. A huge responsibility taking care of these children, taking them to school, taking them for the social activities, going around with them. So you can't just say, hey baby, can I see you? Hey sweetheart, can I see you? And then they come running. No, it's not going to work out that way. So consider that, that they may not always, so that you don't begin to complain at the end of the day, or you don't begin to nag, or you don't begin to get angry, and then you start acting up. No, consider the time factor. You can manage the little time given to you, offered, trust me, to be well appreciated, and this single parent is gonna love you so, so much for being so understanding with him or her next thing you should consider is emotional maturity most single parents are matured emotionally due to circumstances and situations it has made them, it has made them grow so fast it has made them become too mature so you have to ask yourself are you also matured enough 
to date a single parent? Are you mature enough emotionally, age-wise, spiritually? Are you mature to handle a single parent? It's not just seeing a beautiful lady and then you go for her. It's not just seeing a handsome dude and you go for her. You know he's a single parent. But then behind that handsome and beautiful look is a matured man and woman who may want you to be a, a, I mean, a, another parent figure in the life of their children or child. For instance, a single father would want a short lady who can, you know, stand as a mother figure for his or her child or children. So that when he calls, when he's having a, a problem with, with, a, with a naughty teenager, he can call on you, he can seek for your advice or counsel. He can ask for your opinion on how to deal with a, 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 with a young brat, for instance. If the daughter, for instance, is becoming something else, he may ask you as a woman, what do you think I should be concerned in the situation? Or the daughter is a teenager and she's already getting into, you know, teenagehood and with all the, all the puberty stuff and all that. And then she, she, he, he, may, he may need your opinion on how to handle some certain questions or situations. If you are not mature enough, trust me, you cannot date this dude. You have to be mature. Likewise, a, a, a single mom. A single mom who wants a matured man to be in the life of his children or her child. So that when her, her, her son, her teenage son or little boy begins to act up or ask some, you know, uh, ask some questions, you, can, you should be able to you know, provide solutions, answers to those questions. She's a woman. She's a woman, so she may not really understand some of these boys' things, but she needs a matured man who will understand these things and help her out. You see why maturity is key? Ask yourself, are you mature enough to take you know, this responsibility? Are you mature enough to handle this? It's not as if um, they cannot handle it, but the thing is, it's not easy being a single parent. Trust me, they are the strongest people I've ever known. They are, they, they are very strong and mature. It's not easy to take up the role of both parents. It's not easy raising a child all alone, all by yourself. So you have to be mature if you want to come into the picture. Don't go acting like a little child. Don't go acting all immature in, in, I mean, in the presence of young children. Because you should be able to you know, stand as a father or as a mother figure to this young child or children. Number three is preparation. Are you prepared to be in the lives of these children? Are you prepared? Because whether you like it or not, nature has made it that way that these children will always be there. So are you prepared to be in the life of these children, in their social activities if their mom or dad needs you there? Are you prepared to love these children and to see them as yours, even, if you, even when you know they are not yours? These children must always be priority to the single parent. You can never, you can never come first. You can never be the priority of a single parent. These children will always be priority whether you like it or not. So don't worry about, you know, who is going to be first in your life, who is going to always be there. No, these children will always take priority in the life of this prayer, you know, of this parent. You know why? You cannot accept a mom or a dad or a single parent and then reject his or her child. It's not just possible. You cannot accept a man or a woman without accepting his or her child. It's practically impossible, especially when these children are very young. So you have to be prepared to accept them and to also I know, know that they may tag along on your dates. If he or she cannot find a babysitter, they will always tag along. You're going on a date, this kid or this children might be there. So wherever you're going to, you just have to accept that these children will always be in the picture. So be prepared for that. Someone once said that dating a single parent is like serving a term for a crime you never committed. <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. But you know, that brings me to the fourth point, which is love and acceptance. Are you ready to accept these children and to love them as yours? Are you ready? You must have a large heart. You must have an open heart towards these children. 
you must accept them not accepting them as your kids but accepting the fact that they are always going to be in the picture are you ready to love them equally when you come to the house are you ready to show them love when you see them around are you ready to show them love or you're just gonna start frowning your face because the children are always around or they're stopping your romantic time with your woman or your man you must have an open heart to love these children it's no fault of theirs that they are stuck with the person you are in love with I mean it's no fault of theirs so you must love them are you prepared to accept them just in case Knowing fully well that these children will never be yours. Knowing fully well that the mom or the dad will always come around. Despite that, are you ready to accept them? Don't be like the person that says dating a single parent is like serving a time for a crime you did not commit. No, it's not true. Once you love someone, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they are yours or not. What matters is the mutual feelings between you and the kids the understanding and the love between you and them so as you know you, you must be ready to love and accept them the most important thing you should put into consideration you must do like it's a must you must do before falling in love with a single parent ask questions ask questions you must ask some certain questions to be in the client before you go falling in love with a single parent. Now the first question you have to ask is about the kids. Are these children in acceptance, in agreement with their parents, with the parent having someone else in their lives? Are these children in agreement with the mom or dad to have you coming around the house? Are these children ready to accept the fact that the mom or dad is about to go on a date or is probably going you know, dating someone else? You must ask this question. Ask this mom, ask this dad. Is your child or your children aware that we are dating? What is their opinion about you dating again? Have this discussion with them. It is very important you know. Do you know why? You don't want to show up on the doorstep one day and have a child pour water on your face. Or have a, or have a child slam the door on your, on your face. Or have a child ease at you. Or even have a child say, you again, what are you doing here? You don't want to be caught up with that drama. Kids can be very dramatic. You need to ask, have you discussed, you know, us with the children? Especially when they're teenagers, when they're adults. Not even the young ones. The young ones, you know, yeah, they, they probably you, you probably may not worry much. But you see, once a child, you know, already, you know, begins to have understanding of dating, relationship, and all that, you should have, you know, have this question at the back of your mind. Ask the mom or the dad, have you had this discussion? Is it okay for me to come around the house? Is it safe for me to visit you? Are these children in agreement or is this child in agreement with you dating me? Ask this question. Ask questions about the ex or the lover or boyfriend, baby daddy or baby mommy's whereabouts. Ask this question. Where is your ex? Is he or she still in the picture? Does he or she still live around the neighborhood? If yes, then no. The, the, the visitation arrangement. You don't want to be caught up in the house. You go visit your, your lover, girlfriend, woman, man, and then you find the ex there. No, you don't want to do that. So you must find out about the ex you are about. If he's late or if she's late, if he or she's still in the country, if he or she's still living around the neighborhood, what led to the separation? What sort of agreement? Married? Were you married to him or her? Divorced properly? Divorced properly? Separated? Whatever it is, you must ask those questions about the ex's whereabouts. You don't want to be in the picture and then tomorrow one ex is showing up to say, Hey, what are you doing in my man's house or in my woman's house? 
You don't want to, you know, come around the house and then you find someone fighting you. I mean, it's, uh, it's a whole lot of uh, trouble. So you must know where the ex is, if the ex is coming around, at what time and days. All this information must be at the tip of your finger before you, you know, go deeper with the single parent. Then another thing you must find out is the child custody. What is the custody arrangement? You must find out if the mom or the dad has full custody or partial custody. Do you know why you need to find out? So someone doesn't come clear, you're fighting you that you want to come take over his or her children or child. You must find out. This will also enable you to know when he or she is visiting. This will also enable you to know the sort of agreement they have. So you don't, you know, have issues with, you know, the 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 the, the parents. I mean, the the, the ex-parent. You don't have issues with him or her. You must find out the kind of custody arrangement, the days and the time of visitation. If at all they're going to be in the picture or not. If they are late or not. You must also find out what happened, what caused the separation. If it's if it's death, quarrel, fight, all these things must be at your fingertips it will help you you know prepare you before you fall in love with a single parent so that you don't get you know you don't get caught up in some sort of uh, dirty drama along the line person once said that dating a single parent is like uh, paying a car note for your neighbor paying the insurance even getting you know to fill the gas tank but you never you will never ever have to drive this car or have any access to this car or any sort of ownership to this car but i put it to you out there having this same mindset concluding that it's not true dating a single parent can be very exciting and interesting dating a single parent it's it's a beautiful thing because love love is something everyone deserves a second chance to experience love happens and it's no fault of theirs that they are single parent situations happen situations led them into becoming a single parent you also can be caught up with that you cannot say no it will never happen to me as a woman you cannot say no i can never be a single mom don't say that as a, as a man you can never say no i can never be a single dad do you know why life happens people die people fight and separate and do you blame them no so don't go out blaming a single parent or thinking you can never be caught up with that that is the reason why you will never marry or you will never have an affair with a single parent they are the strongest people i've ever known but as you're falling in love with a single parent or you are about to embark on this journey have it at the back of your mind that these children these children will always take priority this children or this child will always be in the picture that this child or these children will always have the attention of the, uh, of the mom or the dad that this child or these children may never be yours no matter how much you love them they belong to someone else I, I pray that you out there planning on dating or going getting involved with a single parent find this information very useful and helpful well with that this is how I come to the end of today's topic on dating a single parent until I come your way again with another interesting topic I remain on my dear your love doctor see you next time